Hello. You might be saying to yourself, who is this man? What has happened to our beloved Combs? You might be saying that. And if you are, then you're dumb because obviously it's me. Okay, let's make a video. All right, guys, we're talking about countering the supernatural team today. I feel like everybody is curious about this because it's supernatural, right? They're brand new. Everybody's using them. So everybody is using supernatural right now, right? So we got to figure out how to counter them. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you how to counter supernatural. So you might be wondering, well, what does supernatural do well? And that is, um, how do you say everything? <laughs> They're really good. And I think a lot of people maybe. I've underrated them a little bit, but I tell you what, I got this huge Mordo, of course, but like even Elsa does a lot. I mean, she does tons of damage for four star, three red star, tier 11. Like she does big, big damage. Um, her basics kind of weak, but uh, the trick shot and the scatter guns, and then even her uh, unique here, they all do big damage. Uh, I mean, Ghost Rider with his bleeds and stuff that he gets, and then the counter attacks when people die. I mean, he just, they do good stuff. They really do put down work. And then uh, Doctor Strange, um, he gets tons of deflex if you have those T4s on. Uh, her putting defense down on the whole team, it's just, it's pretty crazy. And I mean, Mordo's honestly just like, he's almost the least impressive one. And so this team does really well. This team is good against like Coulson Shield teams I've seen some use. This team is good against Sinister Six. This team is good against uh, like, like Guardians teams. I've seen them work very well against them. You know, it can be a little tough if they've got a Groot, but if, like, they have a Minerva in for Groot and instead maybe, or Thanos, then it ends up being, like, really, really good. Uh, where they struggle a bit is in similar places to aim teams is that they can't really, if they face somebody with a strong cleanser like Defenders or, again, a team with Groot. Groot's a little easier. His cooldowns are pretty long. They they can really go to town on teams that use, deep or that do not have cleansers because they just put tons and tons of debuffs on and they flip stuff, obviously, Doctor Strange especially. And you can just get like a good, just a ton of debuffs in no time. And that will sink almost any team. So you might be saying, well, okay, so how do we beat this then? And so what I can tell you, there's one huge main counter to this team. And I'm sure if you know anything about the game, you can figure out what it is. It's aim. <laughs> so the main reason why, there's two reasons, obviously, two obvious reasons. Two obvious reasons that this team works. So aim security on the passive here. So what you see is this passive ability from aim security. And this is the whole reason why this works. If you don't run aim security, well, you're not running aim correctly. But if you're not, then this will not work. This will not work. But the reason why it does is this ability right here, right? So if attacked, I don't know why it says on attack. That's a weird, weird way to word it. But so when they're attacked, if Scientist Supreme is an ally, when above 75% health transfer one negative effect from self and each ally, aim ally, to the attacking enemy. So basically, if someone attacks and does like an AoE, like say for example, Mordo uses his AoE heal block. Okay, well, as long as above 75% health, it's going to just take all those and they're just going to put them back onto him. So then he's basically just going to, he'll do the damage still, but the heal block is going to go right on back to Mordo. So it's pretty easy the way that this works. I mean, it, it takes care of it. It beats it up and uh, it's like, oh, okay. Like this is why they work so well against um, like Brotherhood because Magneto can use his blinding and he'll use that. That'll be the first thing to happen. Boom. It's not going to take aim security below 75% health and then boom. Boom then it's going to just put all the blind back on Magneto. Now, it doesn't really affect him, but it does clear them off the team. And so that said, this is why, I mean, they can just beat him because Supernatural, a lot of times, they just apply, like, one debuff at a time. Like, now, of course, Ghost Rider, uh, he'll do two at a time with his two bleeds. But so if you just transfer all those off, I mean, think about it. If he does that, so he'll hit three people with it. If, he, if Aim Security is one of the people that he hits, then that's fine. Aim Security and then the other two characters are still going to have two or one bleed on them each. But then you're going to take three bleeds and put them back on Ghost Rider. So that just counters him and takes care of him. Again, I used Mordo as the example. I'm not exactly sure how it works with uh, Doctor Strange flipping things. That would be an interesting thing to test out. But again, at the end of the day, it's not really going to matter that much. So as you can see, that's why it's literally just this character that does it. It's not really anything else. I mean, of course, let's be real. Scientist Supreme has her flipping here. 
And so if you have that, I mean, even if you end up getting overwhelmed with debuffs, you can just flip them and you're good to go. That's easy. Like, no problem. So this team, to me, is a no-brainer counter to Supernatural. I mean, they're no-brainer counter to any, like, teams that are debuff heavy, you know, either you know, Brotherhood or Supernatural specifically, they destroy both of those teams, as we already know. So that's how that works. That's why that works. And Supernatural is pretty beefy. They take out almost anything else, like I said, especially, I mean, Shield and Coulson. I mean, that's woo, that's pretty tough for them to take out that. But then, you know, you have to know the counters. You definitely need to know the counters. The next counter to Supernatural is these guys. So what happens here is, as with anything, is that Brotherhood counters almost every single thing that they you that they're attacking and that's kind of the point is that they just kill everything on attack they might not necessarily be great on defense but they kill everything on attack that's kind of their whole point and so they can almost take out anything but that includes supernatural it doesn't necessarily you know again you wouldn't attack aim with this because you can't really they don't have any way to cleanse anything and so this team i mean they come in with a ton of debuffs the blinds the tons of bleeds and at that point you're falling apart. If you don't have anything to cleanse that, if you don't have a Groot, a Jessica Jones, aim security on your team, then you're just going to be screwed. There's really going to be nothing you can do. And that's just, that's it. You know what I mean? Like you're just, you're done. If you're using Supernatural for like war, you would never want to attack an aim team with them. Now, of course, there's really, I don't know. I can't really imagine. A lot of people do put aim on defense now. So I, I personally have my Supernatural team on defense and I love them. They're incredible, but mine's pretty decently strong, especially on defense with all the buffs and stuff. I think they're up to like 275k power or something. And that's pretty scary. I don't know if I'd want to attack that. But, you know, a lot of people probably just, you know, if they have strong aim, then they just do that. Or maybe even just uh, Brotherhood because it's an easier win. That's what I would do. I would just use Brotherhood on them. All right. So the kill order for this team, it's a... Uh, it's honestly, they don't have a tank, and so nobody taunts on this team, so you can go after who you want, but there is a lot of healing. One thing you cannot do, and this is just a pro tip, one thing you cannot do is take a anyone who summons, at least not weak summons. Ultron is kind of, the jury's still out just because Ultron's Ultron, but if you take anything with like weak minions in, like Kree, or even though Kree can cleanse, but they have the minions, so it's like it's kind of like a bad trade-off. The reason I say that is because Mordo heals a lot every time anyone dies, especially Mystic. You got to be really careful about that because he heals a lot with his passive. I have the T4s on it, and so I imagine if you're running this team, you've got to have the T4s on it, and then it just makes it so super. him and Supernatural allies heal for 10% of his max health so for me that's a ton because his is very high and then ghost rider gives 20 percent extra health and so it ends up being a ton of ton of healing so if you just have minions going out there they get destroyed so don't use minion based teams on here when it comes to the kill order i think that dr strange has got to be the first to go because he can just revive now it just depends if you can keep him ability blocked and kind of held down i might go for ghost rider first because ghost rider does attack every time that you destroy one of his minions now, I mean, that attack is not all that super crazy, but mm, I, don't, I don't like to play with it. So probably I would do Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, Mordo, and then Scarlet Witch. I mean, it just depends because she could heal and she also spreads like negative side effects and extends them and then provides them. But I think that she's not really too high on the kill order. Now, I think that Elsa is probably the last person you want to kill just because, I mean, I don't know. I mean, she attacks again whenever someone misses but i don't think that that's that big of a deal so i think elsa is definitely the last person you go for and then probably scarlet witch and then again mordo is definitely the healer so it's kind of hard to say but dr strange has got to go first that's what i can tell you i would then do ghost rider then mordo and then the, it'll be clean up obviously from there but you got to take out dr strange first now he can be a kind of a pain because he gets all the deflex. That's the other thing you have to be careful of. You don't really want to use teams that get a lot of buffs because then Dr. Strange goes crazy and he starts getting all these deflex and that's again with these T4s, but he gets like all these deflex and he heals a little bit. It's not too much because it's 5% of his max health and he doesn't have that much. So 5%, it's like 30, like 3,500 or something. That's very little on this character. I mean, seven stars, tier 11, three red stars, level 70. That's, that's not that much health, so, I mean, you might see more if you see, like, big red stars, but he is a hard person to leave alive, if that makes sense, because he can flip the debuffs, he can revive, you gotta take him out first, I would say, for sure, and that's pretty much, that's the way I see it, you gotta be careful about teams with buffs, teams with debuffs, 
can beat him up pretty good. And you got to take out Doctor Strange first. That's pretty much what I can tell you with that. So I hope this video helped you guys. I've been seeing Supernatural pop up a lot more on Defense and Alliance War. And uh, they're amazing. And I love playing with them. If you guys have been around for any of the streams recently or anything like that, you know that I've really been raving about them because I really enjoy this team. So hope you guys are using them too. If not, I definitely recommend them. You don't have to make yours as strong as mine. But I definitely recommend people to use them because they are a lot of fun. And I just love them. They're great. They're wonderful. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. We are going to break 5,000 on this video. I'm pretty sure that's incredible. Thank you guys so much for always supporting and uh, you know, keep going up. Uh, leave a like on this video if it helped you or leave a comment if you thought of any other better teams that work or any other questions that you might have. That's all we got. Peace, guys. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you guys didn't notice, um, I shaved my beard. Ha <laughs> ha!